Uh, hey everyone, this is Scott, and we're live here at Hartwick Pine State Park. We're just about a few miles northeast of Grayling, Michigan. It's a beautiful morning here. Actually, it was actually overcast down in Saginaw earlier this morning, but it's definitely cleared up as I've come north. It's actually a very pleasant morning. It's actually only in the upper 50s right now. Actually, it's not that cold right now for late October. And then you actually can see pretty well un underwater there. Wait, right in front of us, this is Bright Lake. This is actually one of the more western or southwestern parts of the park. Actually, only a couple miles, I think, from I-75. But Hartwick Pine State Park is actually very is conveniently right off I-75. It's just take like one or two miles northeast on. M93 and you're pretty much in the park. Over this part of the park there's actually two small lakes. This is Bright Lake and then if we head over toward this way in the next segment we'll actually be over to another lake called Gl uh, Glory, uh, Glory Lake. <laughs> well, let's actually head over there now. Just a short walk, actually right in front of, of Glory Lake. And looks like this is a very small boat ramp. Um, actually, there's actually a, another little walk out here over there. The, uh, the uh, Bright and Glory Trail actually begins right around here and actually takes you over to that pier over there. Can actually get a nice view of the lake and then actually the trail continues into the main part of the park. But yeah, pretty cool. Alright, but coming up next we're going to head over to the main part of the park. So I'm actually going to get back on M93, continue toward the main entrance. And we made it to the main part of the park. We're actually in the near the Michigan Forest Visitor Center. It's actually where you can pretty much start the, the journey into the into the forest. Just a little bit over that way is actually the campground. Actually, there's even a, the, the Bright Glory Trail actually connects over to the campground from actually where we started today's video. Anyway, let's actually head into the, head into the woods now. Just have some, some small steps over there actually Entering the woods, actually, there's even a handicap accessible ramp over t to this point. And yeah, right in front of us is the visitor center. Here it has actually got a lot better view of it. Oh, and the trail actually begins over there. So let's, let's head on over. Just over on the back on the side of the visitor center, actually we're starting on the old the old growth forest trail. This will actually take us back into the into the the most popular part of the park, which is basically the a huge collection of a whole bunch of white pines. Actually, you can see some even over there too. But yeah, the, the the visitor center actually has a lot of different exhibits and and stuff. Actually, there's even a presentation that actually tells you the story about all the about all of the northern Michigan forests. But the, yeah, as with these, uh, as with these uh, deciduous trees, yeah, a lot of the leaves pretty much have fallen off up here. Although some of the lower ones, actually, some are still hanging on. But 
But yeah, some of the eastern white pines in here actually are at least 300 years old. It may be even over 350 years old. So yeah, some even actually can reach up to 150 feet, feet tall even. And it's pretty nice that the trail is paved too, so we don't have to worry about getting our feet muddy like during during any rainstorms or or anything like that. And actually, even some yeah, you can definitely tell it's handicap accessible, which is very nice. So that way, even if you're in a wheelchair, you can enjoy the beauty of of the pine trees back in here. It looks really amazing back in here. You can see a lot of the a lot of the white pines in here. Actually, we'll probably be coming back from that direction. That's gonna be the logging museum. We'll actually we'll be stopping there later in the video. But yeah, this trail definitely looks quite beautiful, like especially during the the fall with all the leaves that have fallen up the trees. They can even see they yeah, have so a lot of a lot of very bright yellows in the fallen leaves, so it's pretty nice. But it is definitely great that the that the state of Michigan definitely has a lot of these state parks in the northern part of Michigan to basically preserve the to preserve the the beauty of nature. It comes to all the all the pine trees to all the animals that live in here, like squ the squirrels, deer, even fox and. Even some parts of northern Michigan, even even some black bears, even. With these fallen logs, it's pretty cool to see all the all the moss. At least I think that's moss. That's actually that's grown on some of these fallen logs. But yeah, on the old growth forest foot trail, there's definitely a lot to see when it comes to quite a bit of moss on the on some of the fallen logs or falling leaves, and also all the all the white pines in here. As a matter of fact, the white pine is actually the the state tree of Michigan. Yeah, yeah, really cool back in here. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of beautiful, a lot, a lot of beautiful pines back in here. Yeah, at the start of the segment, I actually was looking straight up. Ooh. Don't want to look up too much. There's a lot of not dust. There's actually some well leaves for one. Actually, some dust or something that's actually blowing off the trees a little bit. We actually come to a little bit of a, of a fork right here. Hang down that way. It actually will take you over toward one of the branches of the Osabo River. This way, actually, we'll continue our way on the old growth trail. Actually, we'll continue on this way. This will eventually take us over to the logging museum. Actually, there are still some some leaves on the trees still. Yeah, although I've probably said this like 10 times already, it's really beautiful back in here. This is definitely one state park to definitely check out. It can be 
pretty much any time during the year. Probably would, look, probably would look really nice back in here even when there's a bunch of snow on the ground. Although the trails will definitely not be cleared or anything. So you might have to wear like snow boots or something back in here. But So this is definitely worth the trip up here. As I said the very first part of the video, this is only a couple miles or so away from I-75. So it's very accessible. Especially if you're making your trip up to Mackinac. Or back from Mackinac too. Uh, here's a here's a very tall pine tree. That's gotta be at least over a hundred a hundred foot easily. Ah, made it to another fork again. That way is actually a picnic area. Eventually that way that just takes you to another parking area. Continue on this way, actually we'll continue our way on the old forest road trail. So this is the way we'll go. Actually I have a nice little hill right here too. Not far from the last segment, actually there's a chapel here in the pines. Although I don't think this is the same chapel that Luke Christie was referring to in his song Lightning Strikes back from the mid 60s. But yeah, one of the points of interest along the trail is that here is this old chapel. Looks pretty cool. I think you can see a little bit inside too. Very cool. Alright, let's continue back on the trail toward the logging museum. Just got off the trail over there and we made it to the logging museum. Actually, here, and here's one of the old, here's one of the old log cabins right now. It actually was built back in 1934, 1935. Actually, we can go right in too. Hmm, looks pretty cool in here. This is a good, a good example of what all the Northern Michigan log cabins looked like back during the 19th century or even the early part of the 20th century. Have a lot of cool exhibits in there. Actually, here, here's another cabin over here too. Hmm, tote sled. That's really cool. Actually, went inside there off camera, check out the different exhibits. Actually, it's colder in there than it is out here. But but yeah, back in the days, yeah, they didn't have any. They didn't have furnaces or anything like that. It's like you pretty much had to rely on, especially in the late 19th century, had to rely on fireplaces and of course cutting down wood to, to basically build a fire. Actually right here is what's called the, the log jammer. This basically puts logs on the sled here, which they basically can then use the sled to basically take it over to like a to any type of train, and then that's how they transport all the logs across the country. Okay, all right, let's continue back on the trail. This will take us back to the visitor center. Yeah, it's a very short walk to the logging museum from the visitor entrance. This is actually the this is actually near the start of the Old Grove Forest Trail. As we actually started going that way, so we all just made a big circle. That'll take us back to the visitor center. <laughs> this is definitely a very cool hike that I did on the Old Grove Forest Trail. There's definitely a lot of 
a lot of great great ways to observe nature it within Harwick Pine State Park got the logging museum and the all the old white eastern white pines there back in there also although I've never camped here there's also a lot of there's a nice campground that's pretty close to here too I'll walk, walk up these steps here. Yeah, it's really nice back in here. So actually, and there's a lot to the park too that's not being covered in this video. There's a lot of other hiking trails. So this is the one I pointed out, pointed out earlier. Well, but thank you for watching today's video here at Hartwick Pine State Park and this is the Scott Man sending out.